tested out this mini hoover to see how well it cleans dust and dirt off Lego. This was kindly sent to me by Clean My Bricks, who gave it to me for free so I could do this review. I should say however that this video is not sponsored by Clean My Bricks, they're not paying me to do this review and I'm not taking any commission on sales of the cleaner, so that means that I'm free to dish the dirt if the hoover doesn't suck. Here's what came in the box. I fitted the nozzle with the little brush and grabbed some bits of Lego from the shelf that had been gathering dust. With little things like this the dust came straight off, although of course in these situations you could get some or all of the dust off just by blowing on it, wiping with your finger or using a damp cloth. I found some models where dust had settled between the studs and had been there for a long time. The mini hoover worked pretty well on those too. So I worked through a few other things, enjoying seeing some of my more neglected Lego sets looking clean again. Having done this, I thought it was time to give this hoover a real challenge. So I cut open a bag of the finest English breakfast tea, got some of my breakfast cereal and took a spoonful of plain flour and sprinkled them all onto the jewel on Starkiller base. This took much longer to clean and because I hadn't charged the hoover at all when I got it out of the box, I had to stop to plug it in. It powers up using a USB cable that you can just slot into your laptop. What you don't get with the hoover is a plug like this, but I guess these days most people have one from their mobile phone or another device. I was a bit impatient with the charging because after 5 or 10 minutes of charge I wanted to get back to cleaning, but I found that it wasn't getting much suction power. I decided this would be a good time to find out how to empty out all of the dust and dirt, and this turned out to be pleasantly easy to do. There still wasn't much suction so I realised I'd been too impatient with my charging and went away to do something else. When I came back to it after half an hour I was able to finish the job. The jewel on Starkiller base was looking pretty clean. I then decided to test out the other attachment. I assumed it would be better at removing dirt from a base plate, but actually it wasn't very effective and I found the brush nozzle was quicker at this. I tried a road base plate as well to see whether it would be effective on this smooth surface, but again it didn't seem to pick up the flower very quickly and the brush nozzle was better again. So although this other attachment may be good on some surfaces like fabric, I couldn't really see any use for it in keeping Lego clean. Finally, I did a quick comparison between the hoover and using a nail brush or a damp cloth. The nail brush seemed to be just as effective, but the damp cloth did almost nothing. This nail brush wouldn't be able to get into the small spaces that this vacuum cleaner would, so you could use a paint brush for that. But of course, neither a nail brush nor a paint brush actually removes the dust and dirt, it only moves it around. So, what did I think of the LEGO vacuum cleaner? Did it clean my bricks? Yes. What's my rating? 8 out of 10 for quality, and 6 out of 10 for value. Thanks for watching and I'm off now to clean the few remaining dirty parts of my LEGO collection. You'll find a link to the Clean My Bricks website in the description. Special thanks to the team there for sending me this hoover.